Hello, my name is Andrea Boca, I'm a dermatologist and I come to you all the way from Romania for a very beautiful collaboration with Dubimed to talk to you about a product, a unique one that is universal for all your patients, super safe and extremely efficient for many beautiful indications. You're wondering what's the name? Hmm, Sunecos. And we have for the face two products, Sunecos 1200 and Sunecos Performa. Now, what is different between these products and other products that target the health and beauty of the biggest organ we have, which is our skin? This product is not causing inflammation. This product is not inflammaging you. This product is making really your skin younger and healthier. How does it achieve it? Through two key ingredients. Number one, hyaluronic acid. Oh, again, hyaluronic acid. A different hyaluronic acid because these products they have inside single types of hyaluronic acid according to specific needs because when we're talking about the Sunecos 1200 it has inside high weight hyaluronic acid and only high weight hyaluronic acid non-cross-linked that will be a boosted antioxidant activity for your skin when we talk about the Sunecos Performa, it has inside low-weight hyaluronic acid and only low-weight non-cross-linked hyaluronic acid because only low-weight can stimulate directly the receptor on your fibroblast. So we need to know what we're doing when we're doing. And in addition to AJ, these products have inside a patented unique formula of amino acids. Many others have amino acids, yes, but it is this formula that managed to prove the highest physiological production, continuous production, over 120 hours of elastin and two types of collagen that no other product is aiming at and that is collagen type 4 and collagen type 7. Why not 1 and 3? Maybe I'm confused. No, I'm not confused. Through inflammation by all the classical products that you already know, we target, we, we stress the fibroblast to create type 1 and type 3. But is that sustainable over time? We're forgetting something when we just create inflammation and we're stressing the fibroblast we're aging the skin through inflammation through inflammatory cytokines so we need to start being different associating anti-inflammatory procedures is extremely important for the long sustainable results that we are offering to our patients and this is it this is why these products are super different what if we have more of the hyaluronic acid what if i find one product which has more aj than sunecos performa more low-weight hyaluronic acid is pro-inflammatory, you don't want that. What if we have more amino acids? They compete for the same soluble carriers and you will not have complete production of the protein which you want in there. And again, what are you achieving? Elastin, collagen type 4, type 7, fibronectin, unique key components of the extracellular matrix to help it regain homeostasis. Stay with us to see how you do it. Now, how do we do it? How do we do the correct Sunecos protocol? First of all, we need to keep in mind that with the skin, we need to repair, we need to be rebuilt, and then we need to maintain. So with the first session that we'll be doing, we will repair what happened, whatever has been damaged through inflammaging, chronoaging, and photoaging. So, and we're all chronically exposed to that. So we're gonna start with a Sunecos 1200, which has the boosted antioxidant activity that we shall be placing deeper. You're gonna see it in a second how. And then we'll continue with the Sunecos Performa that we'll be placing in a more superficial plane. What is very important, with the following sessions spaced two weeks apart, you will be rebuilding, but you will be doing it only with the Sunecos Performa and maintaining as well. So the Sunecos 1200, it will be only for our first session with our beautiful patient of today. How do we do the protocol for the face with the Sunecos? In the first session, remember, we repair. We start with Sunecos 1200 that we shall be placing subdermal in key points. 0.3 ml in each of these five points because we have a total of three mLs. We're mixing one vial of the amino acids of 1.5 with the AJ 1.5 high weight hyaluronic acid. In total, three mLs, 1.5, 1.5. So each of these five points, one, two, three, four, five, will be getting 0.3 mLs. We go with the cannula in these key points. One is in the area nasolabial fold. We will stay right subdermal with the cannula. The same in, um, in key areas where we need to give some 
benefits for the patients, but which are the key ones? The key ones are that we are being antioxidant and we are at the same time being anti-inflammatory. This is high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. But because this is quite viscous, it will give an immediate nice support that will give good results until the Sunecos Performa starts to kick in and give that long lasting effect. So we are going to get long-term benefits but also instant benefits from the viscosity but keep in mind this is non trosling so these are just immediate nice results what stays is the big antioxidant benefit the booster that we're giving to the skin in addition to the antioxidants key ones working for us let's get going I'm using a 25 gauge cannula. You can use any size of the cannula because remember, this is non cross linked hyaluronic acid. So the risk of ischemia should not make you worry. I'm choosing an entry point that will allow me to target all these three points and then we'll, I will go last to the other two. I'm trying to make as little holes as possible, but keep in mind, I will be right subdermal and I do not have to worry about the ischemia because this is non cross linked hyaluronic acid mixed with the antioxidants. What sort of hyaluronic acid, just to remind you, we have the Sunecos 1200, which is high weight hyaluronic acid, which is giving us antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, extremely important benefits. And we have one point done. How are you feeling? All good? Our patient, let's see. Are you okay? She's smiling. She just didn't realize I was talking to her. So next point, again, 0.3. And then the last point, but remember we are very superficial, of course subdermal, but very superficial. And there we go. Why do we have to be superficial? Because it is the skin that we are aiming at, restoring the homeostasis, a big production of collagen type 4, type 7, fibronectin. Now we go to the other two points and elastin, also very important. These last two points we can approach straight with a needle, it will be much easier. And remember, we are being subdermal and we can do it also very well by needle because we do not have to worry about any risk of ischemia. And here we have another 0.3 bolus and our last bolus here. The product will diffuse very nicely, targeting the whole regeneration of the dermis. And there it is. Now, because the product is quite viscous, we are getting another benefit, instant effect on the skin, which though it will of course not last long, because it is non-cross-linked, will be an immediate benefit for the eye of the patient. And in the meantime, she will get the real benefits of all the other key ingredients. So not viscosity will give the final result, but the hyaluronic acid working synergically with the unique amino acids. Now the point number two, we will go and start doing the Sunecos Performa. That will be the one that we shall continue with. Sunecos Performa, we make boluses and we work like in a lifting idea. Think about the threads. We are being perpendicular to the longer lines. So we are creating collagen type 4 and type 7, which have this pulling effect. We do boluses of roughly 0.1 ml each one. So considering that we are having in total a quantity of 1.7 mLs because the vial of Performa it is of 3.5, it is not just 3 mLs, it is 3.5 mLs. This is the way to go. If you want to be very methodical, you can also draw a line from the ala of the nose towards the tragus and mark your mid pupillary line and from there one, two, three. They have a funny way to call it 3-3 three, three rule, the 3-3 three, three rule, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3. Why is this? Because we are lifting, we're pulling the skin up. Why is this happening? We're not really lifting, of course, we try to avoid as much as we can the word, but the reality is that collagen type 4 and type 7, they anchor the collagen fibers and they create this pulling of the skin effect. This is why areas like the marionette and the nasolabial, they indirectly improve and well, she's a perfect candidate because she has really minimal jawling and we are being more preventive than curative because we know that in aesthetics with the quality of the skin, this is an important key point and an important way to go. You can do it with multiple approaches. You can even do it with a cannula and be very superficial as much as you can with a cannula. My favorite way to do it is with a needle. 
and you can do it with a 4 mm needle and be quite perpendicular, but you can also do it with a 13 mm long 30 gauge needle. And then we approach it in an oblique way so that we know that we put roughly half needle in and we are at the same depth that we would be if we would be taking a 4 mm needle and be perpendicular. But with this approach we create a longer cut that is giving us like almost 50% more mechanical stimulation, which is another benefit. So we are putting 0.1 milliliters in each point all over the face. Now, of course, this is the classical protocol. Now, as any protocol, even if you think about Botox or any other injectables, over time, you will adapt your own protocol to your patients and to your experience. But we need to know how to start and how to be efficient every single time and then you will be increasing efficacy according to your learning curve and to your preferences. And you'll see that every single time you're going to be getting better and better results in a very safe and natural way. Now, this being done, we will decide with the patient. Some patients want to approach the periocular area, other ones want to approach the face or the perioral area. In those areas, we'll be putting small papules around 0.03 per point, very small papules in each point. And I will be showing you now periocular and then forehead. We need to stop because I need to lower her, I cannot reach if not. We will be approaching the periocular area. Now, of course, this is an area where the skin is very thin. So definitely we can do it with the shortest and thinnest needle that we have in our office. The very small papules that we place in this area are around 0.02, 0.03 milliliters. So very small ones. This is very safe to be used. There is absolutely no risk of ischemia, granuloma, nodules, very physiological. So our immune system has nothing against it. Now, when we finish injecting the area, because we have been using 0.9 here, a little bit here, what we have left, we can choose to use it perioral, which is not her case because she has no wrinkles there, or on the forehead for the static impact. What is very important is to pay attention to patients with very important swelling, with a history of swelling, try to avoid those patients. And of course, the Sunecos 1200 should not be placed periocular. Only Sunecos Performa is designed for that. And then with the remaining of the product, we come to the forehead and we will be having small papules. Sometimes here 0.1 will just be too much because patients like her, they have a thin skin. So I will be placing not more than roughly 0.5 in each point. And then we'll start doing a gentle massage for her. And that is all. In terms of benefits, like I was telling you, this is incredibly universal because this is useful to decrease the signs of chronophoto and inflammaging, as well as it is to prevent the skin through going, um, of going through this phenomena, which is very important. So we are at the same time very safe and extremely efficient. As you can see, if you look at her face, the swelling is minimal the erythema is really minimal. Of course, those are things that appear. We can have some bruising. It was not the case today, but sometimes we can have bruising. But these are really short, short lasting discomfort issues for, for the patient and safety and efficacy will always be with us. So give it a try. You will love it. So now with the Sunecos Performa, we'll be approaching the neck. 3.5 mLs for all this region. We will be using short, thin needles, the thinnest ones you have. This is a 32 gauge 4 mm needle and we do small papules. Now, the key is go a bit deeper than you normally go with your mesotherapy when you're aiming for the blanching because it is there that you want your amino acids to work and produce those particular types of collagen type 4 and type 7 in addition to the elastin and the fibronectin. And this is the way to go. You just cover like this the whole area. Roughly the points, you can go up to one in, in each point, but I think 0.1, but I think that is quite too much. I think that 0.05, at least in my hands, it is more than enough. And this is the correct depth plan. We go all the way in with a four millimeter needle and there we place the product, trying to avoid as much as we can the vessels not to bruise. But in case you hit a vessel, remember this is not cross-linked, so it is totally safe. You have no risk of having an ischemic event over there. 
give it a try, you'll see it with your patients. They will love the results and you will love the result plus the incredible safety profile and the ability to keep getting the same result at any point because this is not a work, this is not work achieved by inflammation. This is just physiological adaptation to what your extracellular matrix needs. Give it a try and let me know.